Hey guys, how's it going? Just bringing you a quick video today about some information on the Algorand DeFi ecosystem. If that's something you're interested in learning more about, consider subscribing because that's what we're going to be covering on the channel here. All right. So what is an ASA? Simply put, an ASA is an Algorand standardized asset. Another way to think of it is it's it's just the same as like an ERC20 token on the Ethereum network, except an ASA is on the Algorand network. Uh, there's also the BEP2, which is on the Binance network. TRC20 is on the Tron network. It's the same thing as any of those. It's just it's just the one that lives on the Algorand network. And as such, living on the Algorand network, it inherits all of the properties from Algorand, which means super fast you can send any asset from any Algorand wallet to another Algorand wallet as long as that wallet has opted in for 0 .001 Algorand and it sends in 4.5 seconds it's got the same security of Algorand it's got the same decentralization all of the good things that we love about Algorand ASAs inherit those same properties ASAs can also be both fungible tokens like just a regular cryptocurrency coin and they can also be NFTs yeah in the Algorand uh, ecosystem or just the way the Algorand architecture works fungible tokens and non-fungible tokens both are considered uh, ASAs that's a little bit different than some of the other chains it has its pluses and minuses but it's just something to know uh, I guess the other thing to know is that anybody can create uh, an Algorand asset and that has to go with inher in inheriting the properties because if it's cheap to send and cheap to you know transact with it's also cheap to create and that you know leads to anybody and their mother being able to cre create uh, an asset on the Algorand blockchain now they do verify um, certain assets, but it's important to remember that these check marks are, you know, they're not guarantees or anything. They're just, it's um, these ones on Elgo Explorer, and they will also match on the My Elgo Wallet because these two things are ran by the same company. You know, these people are, they're simply taking emails from the creators of the tokens and verifying ones that uh, they, I guess, decide deserve to be verified. Um, the official mobile Algorand wallet, they, have, they must have somebody else doing it because there are some that are verified on this site and also in the My Elgo wallet that are not verified in the official Algorand wallet. So, you know, while this, the check mark can be somewhat of a help in you know determining if a uh, ASA is you know legitimate or or the real one or worth investing in or something you know the check mark can be some help but it's you know it's it's not a it's not a guarantee by any means so take it with a grain of salt um, yeah that's about it on that as far as I mentioned opting in there's one thing with ASAs um, you're not, you can't automatically receive them with a standard Algorand wallet. You need to go up, I'll show on the, uh, my Algo wallet here real quick. If you just go up here to the top, click here and click add asset, you get here and you can type in, you know, if you can just start typing the first four characters or so, you know, it'll pop up here and you can see this one has the check mark. So this is the one that you're probably going to want to add. We can get into that a little bit more in some other videos. I just wanted to make a real quick one because I noticed some uh, people popping up in my search term on my channel of uh, wondering what uh, an ASA was, so I thought I'd just make a quick video just kind of going through real quickly what it is. And just to, just to kind of wrap it back up in a way that would be on the SAT, an ASA is to Algorand as an ERC-20 is to Ethereum. Alright guys, I hope that was helpful to somebody. Um, 
subscribe if you're interested in this kind of stuff. Like and comment if you would like to. Everybody have a great day. Talk to you later.